What was just the difference today when you start off as hot as you did and just weren't able to sustain it? How do you kind of explain that? Um, I think it was all around. I don't even think it was just offensively. I think we came out defensively with more energy. I feel like our, our effort and things were there. We were on the ground. We were talking on defense, and I feel like that's how we were able to jump out to that big lead. And I just feel like we just need to be able to work on that um, in practice going on now, and we'll be able to sustain that for 40 minutes, and it would be a great team. What uh, what kind of knocked you out there in the first half? What was that injury? Uh, it was just kind of a screen plan, jamming the ball up high. Um, kind of didn't hear my, my big guy talk to me. Um, that happens in the game. He apologized for it. We're going to get it straight. We're definitely going to make sure we talk a lot next time, and we'll be good from there. And where do you think this team stands after two games? Uh, I don't see nothing wrong with it. I see us still as a great team, very young team. We're still learning. Season is very, very early. Um, we definitely made big improvement from the first game against Drake. I feel like we came out with more energy. Um, defensively, we played together. And I just feel like um, this is a long season, so we'll be able to work together more and more, to practice more and more on things, and we'll be able to be great by the end of the season. All right, thanks, Nigel. Yep. Uh, go with Michael Goins. Yeah, Nigel, how, uh, how, uh, how tough was it to guard McKinley Wright for Colorado? Um, he's a great player. Um, Coach has told us about him, uh, seen some film on him. I knew he was a great player coming in. Um, we knew that he would be great going scoring, getting to assisting his teammates. We did, we was doing our best I can. We could we could play with him. We we didn't play two great guards our first two games, and I think they were good challenges for me. Um, I, I give him all his props. He did great, and um, he he led his team. And offensively, do you guys feel like you got a little bit too much perimeter orient, oriented at some point uh, late in the first half with you out? Um. I couldn't tell you, to be honest. I was kind of talking to the trainer, but I feel like, um, you know, we're, we're still trying to drive team. We're trying to we're trying to shoot. We're trying to get that chemistry, you know, being a great team. We're very new with each other. We're very young. But I feel like it's all there. Um, we trust each other. We trust our bigs, and we're going to – we're trusting each other, taking great shots. Uh, Michael, do you have anything else? Uh, Grant Flanders. Hey Nigel, um, your shooting's been really good. You know, starting out, how's it? How's it? What's that confidence from, and how do you keep that rolling? Um, just my my older teammates, Mike, DG, telling me, telling me to keep shooting the ball. Um, some extra extra shots getting up after practice, before practice, getting in the gym, and then just the confidence coming from my coaches, telling me, trusting in me, and my teammates trusting in me to shoot the ball, and then shooting the ball with confidence, and then um, the rest of history. You ever have any nerves out there, you know, being a freshman and a starting point guard for Kansas State? Um, I haven't had any nerves lately. Uh, before our first game, early in the morning, I kind of had nerves. But I kind of started trusting and believing in myself, said a prayer. And from then, I was, I was good. Just another regular game. You've done some good things so far. But what do you, what do you think for yourself you need to improve on the most through two games? I'm um, just being a better leader. Um, I can see that at times we kind of get separated from each other. And I feel like my job would be us to bring us back in. We have great runs, great moments in the game where we show that great talent that we have. And we all know it as a team. We know it. We just got to show it. And I feel like that moment, that's where I need to bring us back together and get us on another run and to close out games to be able to finish us. Appreciate it, Nigel. No problem. Uh, Jackson Snyder. Yeah, Nigel, I was just curious. When, when Coach talks about just kind of your team and how practice has gone, he's mentioned how you guys haven't been able to go five on five very much at all. Has Now that you've had two games under your belt, do you think that the things for the team are starting to flow a lot more like positively defensive-wise now that you've had a lot more time to go five on five in real game action? Uh, definitely, I can tell that we made big improvements. Um, our energy, I think that's where it started. Our energy wasn't as high as it was today when we came out. I feel like we just need to be able to sustain that energy for 40 minutes, and we'll be a great team. And then just with two games now under your belt, what can you tell me has been the biggest improvement for you guys as, as a whole just now knowing where you were at before any games a couple of days ago to where you're at now? 
Um, I can just feel like I can tell that we're uh, we're starting to get that chemistry. Um, I can tell we made big improvements from the first game to the second game. Um, our assist numbers and our, our defensive energy and, you know, our defensive principles have gotten better. Um, just being able to watch film and see our mistakes from the first game, we were able to improve on those and make um, make things better for the second game. And I think we'll be able to continue to improve as we go on through the season.